Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you once again. My name is Nick from the ZX Spectrum. We're going to cover this this time. Uh, this game is called Solaris. It was published first by Crash Magazine in 1989, issue 80, and I think also by Sinclair User Magazine, issue 113. It's a shooter where you control a big, big ship. Now, previously we reviewed a game called Speed Zone, which this one has been influenced by. Uh, that one came out the year before in 1988. Speed Zone was very, very fast, and I think this one is trying to make it a little bit slower so we'll see how much slower it is and does it affect the gameplay at all right what's this this is quite nice uh, entering my name normally I just like to type it in quickly and get into the game but here we've got animated letters let's just get to N because my name begins with Nick uh, incidentally so does Nincompoop but I'm sure that is just a coincidence right okay mm. Uh, right, enter. No that's not working what else perhaps there's an enter button on here that's quite neat that what a nice effect that is. They should have used that in more games, although it is a bit slower to get into the game. Full stop. That's not the uh, question mark. Is there a, like, an enter button? Or it could be stuck. Could be the end of the review. Uh, that, mm, that's, what is that enter? No, that's enter. Right, okay. Right, hit that. Here we go. So you've got a big, big ship. Um, it's okay, but it's less detailed than the one in Speed Zone. Um, my problem was, or oh, it is a lot slower. My problem with, um, a bit of colour clash on the planet there. The problem with Speed Zone, because the ship was so big and things moved so fast, you didn't have much reaction time to move around. This one seems to have slowed it down quite a bit, although the wave patterns do seem very familiar. Okay, now if you haven't seen Speed Zone, this is what you do in this game. You shoot all the waves of aliens to get to the next uh, level. There's a different planet, I think, in the background each time. Along the bottom you've got your score, then the power gauge. Any connection with the aliens doesn't blow you up straight away, but does absorb some of your power. And next to that represents by those four, well, three, Nick learned to count, three cyan squares is the lives you've got left. Uh, the gameplay seems to be a lot kinder. Um, when I'm colliding with the uh, enemy, um, my energy level is going down really, really slowly. Nice music playing in the background as well. I don't think it's a particular tune. I think it's by the random men. Uh, here we go. So, let's see if I can survive long enough. On speed zone, I needed a poke to get any sort of like distance with the thing, because uh, the waves of aliens would go into my ship quite often. Here, it looks like, um, well, it looks easy peasy so far. Uh, it looks like maybe you don't need to destroy the aliens, you could just maybe avoid them each time. Now, as a kid playing these games, um, I would have just wanted to see what planet comes uh, next. Uh, the details of the planet on this one, at least, is less detailed. On Speed Zone, you saw like craters and all sorts of bits and pieces, but it was a cover disc, so you would have got it free uh, with the magazine. Solaris! Let's get confused the game Solaris on the Atari 2600, which we briefly viewed, which is a lot different. Kaboom! So let's see how far we get. It's not about expert gameplay. So let's see how you would have got on on your first second go. With them enough there, you want to play it again. Now, in terms of stress busting, oh, I've done level one already. If you can read that, you're a better person than I am. It's too big. It's going across too quickly. Uh, maybe you can slow it down. Probably say about getting an extra life or something. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's all about seeing, was there enough there, you want to go and play and play it again. Now, the game seems really really easy uh they're maybe too easy compared to speed zone which is too difficult so maybe they should have a middling game there we go color class city so maybe they should have a middling game called um uh, medium zone average zone boy zone woman zone there's lots of zones um right okay but this is solaris um, yeah, so it's all about learning the ways of aliens. Now, what's good about this, which didn't happen on Spectrum games very much, is um, aliens coming at you made up of more than one colour. The ship seems to have yellow, green, blue, red and cyan, which is good. Not as cool as the ship in Speed Zone, but I should stop going on about that. But it's the obviously comparison, which that one was uh, influenced, well, this one's been influenced by. It does have a, a sequel, it's called Gunhead, which I, I might review at some point in the future. Uh, nice stars in the background going through. And just like that other game I mentioned, before you, the, your, the things that you're shooting is um, exactly the same colour as the background and the stars. Right, come on, let's just see how far I can get to this one. But I think goes on this would have lasted a very, very long time. Not quite sure how many levels there are, so there we go. Now, if you're liking your ZX Spectrum stuff, the aim is to review as much as possible. At the time of recording, we've reviewed over 1,100 ZX Spectrum games. Yes, you heard that correctly. And, you know, they're, we, we, they're not like two-minute, three-minute reviews. We give them a good ten minutes most of the time. Uh, it's often a little bit longer. 
Um, yeah, so if you want to see them, they're in the playlist. Uh, click on my username to get there. Take to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab across the top, unless YouTube had changed the format. And Zexpression will be there along with a load of other stuff. Big thank you as well, I would say, to the subscribers. If you watch this far into the video and want to support me, then please subscribe because that helps the channel grow. And a massive thank you to the members of the Journey Through Deep Space Blasting Random Aliens. Want to be a member? Not compulsory, but it has helped me out a great deal in these troubling times. Click on the that um, membership button and see what it's all about. It doesn't join you straight away, it's up to you from there on in. Right, uh, the game's too easy, isn't it? The game's too easy, even for an nincompoop like me. Speed zone too difficult. Right, I've done it again, stage two. Um, I think you could probably just leave the room and you might fluke getting to the next stage without moving your ship at all. Three lives, super generous, and the energy goes down really, really slowly. So, you know, it's it feels more like a demo than an actual game. Uh, a lot of Zed Expression games are too difficult. It's one of those rare ones. Color Clash, all oh, the ships got invisible. It's one of those rare ones where um, it's too easy. Yes. Could have sorted out that Color Clash, but there we go. Never mind. Uh, the planet's not moving at all. The star's moving. And we're firing green because the background's green as well. Do, 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 do. If you're firing green stuff with against a green background, then comment in the comment section below. And when you go up against a planet, does it all go color clashy? We want to know about the real life struggles outside the gaming. We're stress busting, folks. This is a departure from reality. Anything goes uh, here. Anything goes. It's a PG channel, though, of course. We don't do any sweary sweary work. Uh, so if you want to watch it with your kids, I don't know why your kids want to watch this sort of game, but if you were successful in getting them to watch it, then well done you, there's no swearing going on. As we get attacked by red squares that look like a bit like a, hmm, an alien washing machine. Is that the name of a, of a band? Alien Washing Machine on the stage. That does sound like a good name. Mind you, there's Alien Ant Farm, isn't there? That's better. Right, come on. Let's do this. It's the, we've got these um, whiskey glasses come along. They're shot glasses. Let's blow those up. Boo, boo, boo. There's lots of varied aliens in this game. It's, it's moving at a leisurely pace. Solaris. Um, yeah, you might have seen the review of Atari 2600 called um, Solaris, I say completely different. Some nice effects on that game, although I don't think anyone would have completed that. I think probably on all systems, uh, retro systems, shooters are the uh, most common game, probably followed by platformers. I've done no research on that, I've just, I've just said it at random, it might not be the case. But shooters and platformers uh, seem to be loads and loads of those. I don't think we'll ever run out of ones to review. Uh, at some point in this game, I might see if I can deliberately destroy the ship. Because look at look at that. The energy level is not even in the red. It's not even halfway down, and they're moving pretty slowly as well. Right, level again. So so easy. Anyone can complete this game, even a blind woodsman, if he can get the power supply. Right. Yes, uh, I can't read that. I can't read that. Maybe I need glasses, but uh, even your spectrum eyes, it's a little bit blurry and it's going across too fast. You might be watching this at half speed. I think you can uh, change the speed on YouTube. Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's an umbrella there. Oh dear, clash, clash, clash. Now that must be a space station, I suppose. Or it's maybe some weird cake in space, or as I said, an umbrella. Shielding people from the sun. Now I do like a bit of magenta. So we're on a magenta level, magenta stars. But uh, I'd be very surprised if I don't complete this stage. Uh, then, then I think it's time to try and deliberately destroy the ship. Here come the pizza boxes. Pizza boxes in space, let's blast them. Put your favourite uh, shooter below and also tell me, do you prefer Solaris or do you prefer Speed Zone? Speed Zone officially released 1988, Mastertronic. This one, Crash Magazine 1989. And also Sinclair User Magazine as well. I don't know which one was first, but it was in both of them, according to my notes. And I've uh, got to believe those notes, that's all I've got. Boo boo doo doo. I mean, it's not beyond the realms that so there might be a load of people that that coded their own game similar uh, to this, looks like it's uh, doable, but they never escaped their their back bedrooms on sort of like tapes, they might have given it to their friends and never actually got an official release. There's probably tens of thousands of games like that. There's probably over 30,000 ZX Spectrum games now, citation needed, but um, unreleased games in people's bedrooms on tapes forgotten in the attic, probably about, I don't know, about three or four times more than that maybe. Who knows? A lot of them have been blooming awful, but uh, it'd be good to see them. Good old Spectrum, it's, it's, it was a, you know, it was a learning thing as well. It's something where kids could maybe try and program and get into computers. 
with the modern day computers now, PlayStation 5, Switch, you've got no chance of programming on that thing. And my favourite program, which I learned quite early on, on the spectrum, was Boulder 2, which turned the Boulder Red. Quite advanced that, I must admit. Did try a bit of coding, but uh, outside um, sort of like adventure games where it's all text, I couldn't really do stuff. I got stuff moving every now and again, uh, but uh, not uh, as a fully fledged super game. Right. Waiting the views to be about 10 minutes, I think we're pretty much there now. So let's just try and blow up the ship then, see if that's possible. If we can't blow up the ship on purpose, then we're in a big, big trouble, big nose. Right. If you are in space, don't blow up the ship on purpose. Oh dear, there it goes again. What's that? Could be anything. It's a blotch on the moon. Oh no, it was a ship all along. Right, Coke, okay, so if I fly into these red washing machines. Hello. Energy bar is going down a little bit, but I'm, I'm really having to try and persuade them to blow me up. Blow me up. Uh, right, okay, let's fix on there. A little bit left. What's the big explosion effect? Mm, that's, mm, that was a bit poor, wasn't it? Nah, that was a bit of an anticlimax. It just went poof, like a like a bag of crisps. We opened them too quick and they went everywhere. It was like that. And, you know, even after that, I've got two lives left. So even if I deliberately shot, killed three lives, I might get to the end of the level anyway. So we'll just do we'll just do this wave and then we'll say good goodbye. Goodbye, farewell, and all that sort of stuff. You've seen how the game plays. Uh, good graphics, good music, uh, way too easy. A uh, bit colour clash is a bit bit annoying. Uh, the, the degree is get up against the planet there, but uh, yeah, it's all right for for a cover tape. It would it would have done, wouldn't it? It would have got a bit of play out of it, and you would you would have gone back to it every now and again, I think. But yeah, but speed zone for the win, despite speed zone is very very difficult if you had a poke on it. So perhaps, perhaps you could have speed zone, uh, try to do your best on that, and then when you want a bit of a practice of the same sort of thing, play this to get your confidence up, then go back to speed zone again. So maybe have both of them. That's what, that's what I say. I think that's uh, that the overall verdict for me. Uh, I don't know what this uh, ship is called. It hasn't got a name. I've got no uh, instructions on it. The, the cover, the, the magazine might have got me a bit more information, some crazy backstory that sometimes they made up. This must be the last wave, I don't know what they are, white and blue things. Uh, there looks like something from Tic-Tac-Toe. Or that tack game with the marbles. Don't know what they are. Look like underpants. Alien underpants. See, that's another good uh, band name. And now on the stage, Alien underpants. Yeah! What? Uh, here we go. I'm starting to get a little bit bored of the game now, only because it's not testing me to a degree at all. Right, okay. So I think we will uh, leave that um, uh, there. So I hope you liked having a look at that game. Um, that's Solaris on the ZX Spectrum, uh, published by Crash Magazine in 1989, issue 30, and also Sinclair User, issue 113, inspired by Speed Zone by Master Trek in 1988, which we covered before. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, or, um, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome, and I, I love reading your comments, though, I really do. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. So let's just try and blow up the ship then, see if that's possible. If we can't blow up the ship on purpose, then we're in a big, big trouble, big nose. If you are in space, don't blow up the ship on purpose. Oh dear, there it goes again. What's that? Could be anything. It's a blotch on the moon. Oh no, it was a ship all along.